Hi there. So in this video, we are going to talk about post 10 page parameters for WP query. So this applies only for page and post on in the WordPress. So we are going to continue on this page all books. In the previous video, we talked about search parameter. And now we are going to talk about post and page parameters so first parameter we have is the p so this is for post id so if you want to fetch any post based on their post id then you can use this parameter so let's try to use this so i'm gonna open this i'm gonna remove this p equal to let's see what id is this post id is 913 913 and let's see if we get a result or not so we are not getting any result because this is the default post and here we are searching in the book post type so i'm gonna comment this out and then let's try to refresh this <coughs> sorry about that and it started appearing the result so that's that pretty simple right then this is the name so instead of id you can use the name of the post the so name is not the not this this is called title name is post slug so let's try to get this post so i'm gonna add this slug and refresh it and we are getting that result so that's pretty straightforward now this is a page id so this brings up the post and this brings up the page so now if i try to let's see what happens if we try to add any post id with this do we get a result let's see 913 So we are not getting any result because it tries to bring the result from the pages so let's say i want to uh, get this page so id of this page is 256 um i'm i'm seeing the id in the bottom left corner so yeah you must be wondering from where i'm getting the id so that's that 256 256 and we should be getting the about us result and we get that similarly page name <coughs> instead of id we can use a slug of particular page so let me get this page blogs and we get that so pretty simple right now post parent so this works when you add sub pages for the particular page so let me quickly add a page which we are going to call as a parent page blah blah and publish now i'm gonna add one more page that i'm gonna call it child page one and uh, here somewhere 
we can set parent page so I'm gonna search parent page so this is a parent page of this child page one more page let me add as a child page And if we look into that page, it looks like this in the back end. So this is parent page and child page uh, under this parent page looks like this. <coughs> so now this parameter is all about post parent. So we can use. So let's say we want to get these two child pages so its parent page is this so i'm gonna add parent page id as 971 so if i pass this 971 So now I should get child pages. No. Use page ID to return on the child pages. Set zero to return only top level page. <coughs> so why we are not getting any result here? nine seven one id is correct post parent it should be written in the result right let's try to debug this so now i'm gonna print the query and let's see what we get so it is uh, fetching post parent 971 okay it is uh, suppose type is post uh, we are getting that's why so let's say we add post type page let's refresh this okay now we are getting the result because by default it's search with uh, post type post and we were searching for <coughs> post type page so similarly it works for post as well we can add a sub post uh, of any particular parent post so that's that then yeah if you get if you want to have multiple parent id result based on multiple parent ids then you can so you can use post parent in like this and you can pass it into an array so you can pass the multiple parent ids so um, I have only one so I'm just passing one only and still we get the result so when you have multiple post parent then you can use that post parent in and uh, it's opposite post parent not in then post in uh, which is uh, if you want to get particular uh, post IDs um, 
so let's try to use that I'm gonna remove this query post in and I'm gonna remove this so wherever you have the in in the argument you have to pass multiple IDs so I'm gonna I'm gonna fetch three post one is this GP which is ID is 913 913 then I want post 424 which is ID is 772 and uh, post 5 to 6 which is ID is 874 874 so we should get three post in the result and as you can see we are getting those um, posts in the result so that's that and that's opposite of not in then if you want to get uh, from the slug uh, instead of this ID then you have to use post name in over here so this is how uh, post in page parameter works if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching